The Legend of Zelda is one of the most popular video game franchises of all time. From its humble but classic origins in 1986, to the beloved Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, to this monstrosity. Come back when you're a little, mm, richer! It has some of the most beloved and iconic characters, gameplay, and stories. But in 2017, everything changed. You see, Zelda games tend to be very similar. Obviously, every new game in the series comes with new graphics, story, etc., but the core gameplay concepts have always stayed relatively simple. Your goal is to defeat Ganon. This is accomplished by making your way through a world that usually consists of a series of puzzles and enemies, with friendly NPCs and things like that as safe areas. Usually, each game will have a few distinct dungeons with a variety of themes and a boss at the end that ties it all together. Another staple of classic Zelda games are the items, which usually open up new options for exploring the world and making progress. Now, while this formula is tried and true, it almost always results in a pretty fun game. Sometimes it gets a little tiresome, which is why in 2017, with the release of the Nintendo Switch, My life is like a video game. Nintendo majorly changed things up with Breath of the Wild. This game and its newer counterpart, Tears of the Kingdom, changed the Zelda formula in huge ways that I'll talk about shortly. But the main focus of this video is, what's next after these games? Whoa, whoa. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are so fresh and so innovative that Nintendo has kind of designed themselves into a corner here. You need to go into a corner of a room. <laughs> And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Oh, and remember to subscribe if you like this video. I've got more cool stuff coming soon. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Before I talk about what comes after them, I need to clarify what makes these two games so special in the first place. Freedom. Whereas before Zelda games had a very linear path laid out for the player to go through, Breath of the Wild gives you a huge open world to explore and do things in. There's no set order to complete the main story, you can literally run straight to Ganon if you want. Although unless you're a speedrunner with countless hours practicing and doing exploits, you'll definitely get whooped. I like it, Kudji. There are four divine beasts you can do to make the final fight easier, and a bunch of shrines around the world that are like mini dungeons that give you hearts and stamina as a reward for completing enough. With the addition of new mechanics like climbing and the Sheikah Slate, <laughs> The world is your playground. Breath of the Wild's sequel, Tears of the Kingdom, only expanded upon this formula, adding two whole new layers to the world, letting the player assemble their own vehicles, a feat much more difficult than it sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, my greatest invention. And adding even more enemies, locations, and abilities to be experimented with. I could go on about how great these games are, but that's not what this video is about. The way I see it, Nintendo has three options for how to continue the Zelda series. They have a problem here, and that's the people love the innovation of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm not sure if they can pull off something of that level again. Let's look at their first option. This is an obvious choice. Breath of the Wild was a new direction, Tears of the Kingdom expanded on that direction, why not just expand again? But there's a problem with this idea. A balloon can only expand so much before it pops. That's a horrible analogy, can we cut that? But really, Tears of the Kingdom added about as much new stuff as possible. The world has new locations. All the dungeons are redone, there are tons more enemies and all the abilities are new, etc. And some people still think it's too similar to Breath of the Wild. I think the only way a third game in this style could work was if it was in a different world than Hyrule. Hello everyone, I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I have some news. Zelda 3 is coming out. Link will now explore Mars. I've seen some people bring up this idea and I think it could work. I'm making it seem like it would be impossible to follow up on the mechanics of the first two games, but a lot of people do have problems with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that could be fixed with this idea. Specifically the story, lack of classic Zelda dungeons, and some of the mechanics. I don't really agree with these complaints, but I do understand where people are coming from. I think putting Link in a new world with new rules but keeping a similar style to the first two games could work, but we're straying further and further from what made Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom great in the first place. Out of the three options, I think this one is second most likely to happen. So what's option two? We get a return to the original Zelda format, but just executed really well to make up for the lack of that freedom that we got used to in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not going to talk about this one for long because it's probably the least likely to happen out of these three. The Zelda developers have said in interviews that they're not really interested in the classic formula anymore, and prefer to look to the future and try to do new things. I'm not really upset about this, I've never been a huge fan of most of the older Zelda games. Obviously, if these games mean a lot to you and you were hoping for more like them, this is disappointing news. However, there are already a lot of these games, so I can't blame Nintendo for wanting to try something different entirely. Especially when some of the newer ones don't seem to have that universal love that surrounds titles like Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. So with Nintendo saying in interviews that they're not looking to make these types of games anymore, the chances of another classic Zelda seem pretty low, making it the least likely option out of the three. But that's not saying it won't ever happen, you never know with these things. Anyway, let's look at option three, which is the most likely to happen in my opinion. Our third option is, of course, for Nintendo to do something completely new and different. The main obstacle here would be to not alienate fans after Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom reached such a large audience and their gameplay was so influential. Uh, so the present I want to give you player. is... Bruh. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? 
It's easy to say something really strange would be a bad idea, but I think maybe it could work. I mean, Nintendo can be really creative when they want to be. Have you seen the early designs for the Guardians? The problem with this is that Breath of the Wild was already a big shift for the series, and I don't think Nintendo wants Zelda to have a reputation as an unreliable IP with tons of different themes and ideas thrown around everywhere, but maybe this is what the franchise needs. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom is great, but the open world fatigue in 2023 is real. I personally would love to play a new Zelda that's a surrealistic horror game about the monsters inside all of us. Yeah, that's not happening. But I have enough faith in the Zelda team at this point that I think even if they did something really strange, it would still be fun to play an experience, or at least be interesting. So with this being the most likely option out of the three in my opinion, I just hope that if Nintendo does end up doing this, they'll end up executing it well. So those are the three routes I think Nintendo can take as far as the Zelda franchise goes. Do you have any other interesting ideas for what they could do next? Leave them in the comments. I would love to see what you guys have to say. I do read all the comments. I know all small YouTubers say that because they barely get any comments anyway, but whatever. Also, if you like the video, make sure to, you know, like it and subscribe to my channel. To all my current subscribers, I know the current Sunday upload schedule was scuffed, but I'm working on a more efficient plan to make videos, so hopefully I'll get that figured out soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.